<laughs> oh, sh What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Dead Funny Review Show. I'm your host, Chris. Show me today my co hosts, Kelsey, Cody, and Brandon. Oh, shit. <laughs> He's back, but you guys already know this by now because you had already watched the podcast. Oh, shit. <laughs> We're really excited, guys. We've missed him. Yeah, he's back in action. Oh. We right. have. I, I missed him until he decided to fuck with me while I was trying to filter your shit. Then I've I missed y'all like, too. I'm done to be with honest. this guy. <laughs> it's automatically done. I was like, fuck, I haven't, I haven't done this shit in forever. <laughs> <laughs> been like nine months, maybe more, actually. I think. I don't know. No, it's been almost a year, months, but it's been, it's been some time, that's for sure. Definitely. Yeah. So, if you haven't noticed by the title, we're here to talk about The Witcher. A long time yeah, yeah. ago, we did a review show based off of the trailers and then just some random fucking knowledge between me, Kelsey, and Bree Bree. Now the show is out. We've watched it. It's here. We waited a little while to do this, so that way there'd be no fucking spoiler territory. So spoilers are coming if you have not seen the show tune the fuck out or stay i don't care it's not my life stay ruin your life that's fine yeah that's fine that's completely <laughs> fine and then come back and watch the show after you watch it if you choose to leave but we're going to talk about it so out of the people here who has actually played the witcher any part of the series one two or three me for sure uh, kind of cody kind of brandon I played three, but it was like too much, and it was the first one. I was like, "Yeah, I'm gonna stop playing this for a for a minute." Mm. I'm gonna get back on it though. Like a review show and a podcast from starting to play The Witcher. Gotcha. Okay, a review show and a podcast from starting. So in other words, as soon as we get done with the podcast tonight, Kelsey's like, "It's time <laughs> to play the fucking Witcher." Actually, yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, I <laughs> was. I was playing go to the, the stash, fly out the Mountain Dew. <laughs> before we started recording, like that's what I was doing before you guys all got on, and uh, I played it. We're not we're not supposed to be reviewing the game, but what did happen was I played it for 15 minutes, got killed by drowners, and then was just like, yeah, I'm done again with this game for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. And as people already know, my my extensive. You literally only played Gwent. I was oh my just god! Playing Gwent, so that's all I did. It was fantastic. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> the none of us have just Witcher. Witcher for kids, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much what it was for me. Dude. I loved it. Loved, loved so none aspect. of us really have like textbook knowledge of The Witcher as a series. Well, like I before. actually read it up afterwards. Like I didn't read the books, but I actually read like the whole story going from one, two to three because I knew that I was okay. actually probably never going to go back and play one or two. Possibly yeah, would play is three, terrible. but Oof. I was never going to go back and play this. It just, it's its not something I care enough about to do. I guess my question for all of you was, were y'all confused a little bit? Like, I yeah. started to get confused and then I actually like went and looked up. I, I was just reading articles where people are like furious about the everything. And I'm like, okay, why are people hating this? And I, it was after the first episode had happened that I, everybody was like, well, I couldn't tell that they were jumping timelines. And I'm like, oh so i actually stopped one of the episodes to tell my husband i'm like they're jumping timelines and so we got the information before we watched through it and it helped a ton yeah it was weird because it's a netflixy thing to do to have flashbacks and that's like the format of a netflix show now it almost feels like yeah. is to kind of have the timeline be fragmented but mm -hmm. i feel like they were treating it like a twist and it really wasn't a twist it was just confusing and it meant i didn't care about any of the characters for quite a while because they were all prior to being relevant to the kind of non-existent story so i was like i don't know uh, i'm just confused you know i don't think you were the only one who felt that way but i i do see the director's decision because in the stories um i what is her name yeah uh, the no oh, not Siri. Siri. Siri doesn't come into the stories until way later. So yep. if they were going to tell the stories appropriately, she wouldn't come in until like season three. And I don't know enough of the story, but apparently she's crucially important. And they're like, we don't want to tell that much story without her. The story we want to tell is the story that includes her. And so they had to give you the background to get you up to date on Yennefer, get you up to date as much as you could on Geralt while including her. I just think they could have done it better to let the audience know what was going on. 
I you know. I agree. I think part of the problem for me with the show was definitely that it was pretty broad, and like what I mean by that is just there was like a lot of stuff happened, mm-hmm. and and I still cannot fully explain what happens in the story. Like a bunch of like individual little snippets happened. And to me, they didn't just, they didn't all flow together into like a cohesive narrative. So by the time it got to the end and there was like a big battle, I was just like, I don't fully know who the like fascist people who I think are called Nilf Guardians were trying to kill at that point. I definitely figured it out after multiple like watch throughs going back through it and like picking up hints that they were giving you and I was like oh okay but it's got high rewatchability due to the first round's confusion yeah that's, that's true that's fair I think I, was I restarted episodes for sure like I would get halfway through an episode and be like I need to rewatch this I kind of didn't follow I think I think they did it in a way so there's like multiple like the timelines, whatever, if they keep doing this. I hope they do, because I like it. The way I watched it, I watched it all, and I was like, I think this happened in this order. Then I looked it up. I thought that was pretty fun. But I think they did it so, like, you have, like, a di- so if you're more into the Geralt Siri thing, mm-hmm. you can just kind of, like, focus on that more than they do other episodes with Yennefer and stuff like that. But eventually they're going to, like, like, conflict and all that stuff. But I like it that way, personally. It was fun to like watch it all and like I think this happened and then we look it up. I was like, oh, I was pretty close actually. I think I had like one episode <laughs> off. I had I had one episode like I had like one episode out of order. I was like, damn it, but I was pretty close. That's cool. I didn't think of watching it that way. That's awesome. Yeah. So whenever I was watching it, full disclosure, I fell asleep twice, two episodes. <laughs> but how dare you? <laughs> I've, I've been moving I was this there. entire week, so it's been uh. A little rough, right? Oh shit! <laughs> so, that, I don't know if it was due to the fact that I just lost the will to watch it, or I was fucking exhausted. Could have been a bit of both. I don't know. But one of the episodes, I will say this: I should not have fell asleep because it was really the last episode when the whole battle was going down. Oh, what the hell, Chris? No, you know what, yeah. man? Shot, I'm on your side. They I was shot bored. the they shot the first spell ball, and Yennefer knocked that shit out of there. And then they shot the second one, and Yennefer knocked that shit out of there. And then I went to sleep, and then I woke up to the teacher telling Yennefer, just let it all out. And then she burned the entire field. So everything (laughs) between those, I don't know what happened. Literally do not know what happened. Everything between that. No fucking clue. What happened between those two moments? I literally saw the beginning of the fight and the end. That was it. Nothing else happened. It's actually funny because it's Henry Cavill. And the last time this happened to me was Superman. I still have never <laughs> seen the fight that happens between between Superman and Zod. Is it Zod in the movie? Yeah. Right? General yeah. Zod, yeah. Yeah, I've General never Zod. seen the actual fight. I seen whenever they go to start, I fall asleep, and then I wake up to Superman snap at his net. Never seen anything in between. <laughs> dude. That. Never Chris, seen Chris, anything in between Chris, that. Chris. It's Henry Cavill, what, dude. Five, he just does get, it to me. Dude, get, get it's like start up Man of Steel whenever we're done with this. Fast That's forward to the fight happening. and just watch it. That is fast physically not happening, my friend. I'm sorry. Do it. It's so uh, good. It's so I'll, good. You'll fall asleep so good. as soon as it starts, you know? <laughs> Probably, dude. I don't know. The world will run. turn into a CG cartoon. It's such a good, it's such good. good fight. <laughs> such a good fight. Actually, I really think you need to start testing this and see how long you can make it last. Like, next time you're really tired, be like, all right, I'm watching this movie and just start it halfway through. Yeah. And if you fall asleep, you're set. Like, Get a little bit of insomnia. Scenario, you see it. Just yeah. Slam that in. Yeah, but at the same time, like, it's kind of weird that this has happened two times. Like, I don't know if I want to break that number. I'm actually more interested to get another Henry Cavill movie I haven't seen that's action <laughs> and oh, see if uh, I fall asleep during some other kind of fight. Watch the like, new Fuck. Mission Impossible. Is he in there? Yeah. No, no, no. That's that's why yeah. there was the mustache controversy. Uh, yeah. Because he was under contract with for the, uh, for the Mission Impossible movie where he had the mustache. Mm. So when they did reshoots for the other one, yeah, he was all... Weird oh, lips. the Superman shit? Yeah, I remember yeah. that now. Yeah. I, you. I remember that now. But I will say this. Out of what I did watch, I did enjoy it. Um, the show wasn't amazing. It didn't blow me away by any means whatsoever. Maybe if I would have tried to find some magical little way to, to watch it so I enjoyed it better, like Brandon did, maybe I would have. Well, I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't know to the like. Uh, I was watching it. I was like, "This is weird." And I was like, well, "I was it, like, this person died. This person died in episode one. Why are they back at this episode?" And I was like, 
time. <laughs> and then I was like, what, what order is this going? <laughs> when you said that, that totally, remem- or totally reminded me of the aliens meme. We're just like, aliens. And you're just like, time. <laughs> like, it didn't make sense. Time. <laughs> Oh but then, like, God. I remember reading the article, and it was like, fucking, you, I've, like, when I was watching the show at first, I was just, like, wasn't thinking about that. Like, Yennefer and Geralt are, like, fucking yes, ancient. Couple, they do. They're, like, a couple hundred a years old. Well, that's, that's another issue that I have with them having that time skip, is it's like, look, time has passed for our immortal characters. <laughs> like, well, okay, fine. Like, they look the same, you know? Mm-hmm. Dude. Apparently, Geralt just always looks like rotten onion carcasses or something. Kelsey, please, for the love of God, tell me you or your lovely husband saw what I tagged you in on Facebook. You tagged me in something on Facebook? Yes, I did. Oh, God, no. Yes. I <laughs> How many days not. has that been out there? Two days. It's, it's not bad. But it's because you said your husband likes Ed, Ed, and Eddie, right? We were talking about that? Oh, God, oh I, yes. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, and was it you that posted it? It was you that posted it, right? No, was it no, 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 no. That was Bronson. That was, that was Bronson. Bronson. I saw it, though. I oh, kid you God. not, it's Ed, Ed, and Eddie, but instead of Ed, the dumb one, it's Yennefer with her fucked up jaw. So, And all, all of them are standing there with a gigantic jawbreakers <laughs> on the left side of their face, and it's just her gigantic fucking bulge out of the left side. I was like, yes, absolutely yes. It looks so fucking funny. It's only there's, Ed's body, there's... but it's just Jennifer's head cut out and stuck right on it, and, it, and her hair... Because Ed, in the thing, he's got the jawbreaker on his right side, but her hair covers it up, so you don't see his cheek at all. So it just looks like she's just got a jawbreaker coming out of her left side of her mouth. She's got that big-ass fucking knot right there. Oh, it's so <laughs> fucking funny. It's so fucking funny. And I was like, yes. And I tagged, tagged my mom, you, and Scott. And I was like, yes. Because I remember you talking talk about Scott and Ed, and Eddie. I was like, yes. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I need to go find that. I've I've had like eight work people friend me in the last two days and now i'm like oh god no why are you friending them that they are friending me and you friend you friend them back because i work in a very small company where they will come to my desk and go hey i sent you a friend request did you see it there's a really easy answer i don't have just just tell them you don't have facebook yeah but but in this you all you got to do is just did you get my friend request no i didn't oh just full ghost yeah. Just, well, just say, just, just be like, just be like, I don't get, just although, like, I don't get on there. Although you can't, you can't reject it though, because if yeah, you, yeah, you reject can. it, it there forever. No, yeah, you if you no, but if you reject it, Facebook has a way of letting you know that you rejected shit now. Yeah, so just leave because it there forever. if you reject a friend game plan here, uh-huh. just just be like, just if... be like, yeah, I saw it and I didn't fucking accept it. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> so, so and I'm fired forty five minutes later. <laughs> so if you if you reject it, if you go back to that person's. Like, let's say, for instance, I sent Brandon a friend request, and Brandon was like, no, fuck this shit, get out of here. He rejected me, right? I go back to his profile, because <laughs> he hasn't recept- re- accepted my friend request in a lot- while, and I go back to look at his profile. It will no longer have the ad friend there. It will just have the message. The ad friend button yeah, but will who- be gone. Yeah, but and that's because it that, means that you... Huh? Who does that, though? I don't know. I'm just letting you know that that's a thing, because <laughs> I was trying to add somebody from uh, my old job, and he had added me and accidentally hit the, the, the decline. And he messaged me. He's like, yo, man. He's like, I, I'm able to message you, but I'm on your friends list. And I was like, oh, fuck. And I was looking through my friends list. I was like, oh, you're not. And I, look, and I, I legitimately meant to add him, but I rejected him. And I was like, oh, shit. So then I went and added him. Felt bad. As long as I got him on Messenger, I'm good. Nah. Fair enough. Fair enough. But- so we brought up what Geralt looks like. And so I need to make a public apology. I have repeatedly and loudly talked about how freaking creepy he looks and how much he bothers me because he's too, oh, yeah, like, every time I've seen him, he's too perfect. And he's like in an uncanny valley and it bothers the hell out of me. I am retracting that. Hmm. I no longer game. think that he's lovely. I'm wrong. I then also watched a YouTube video recently of him reading thirst tweets that just about killed me. So. I am now fully on team Henry Cavill, and I were I was wrong. I was wrong then. I'm wrong now. But I will never watch Superman because the man freaks me out in that one. Wait, what? (laughs) No, Superman's so like he's he's been so airbrushed. He doesn't look like a person anymore. Like he looks like a robot, and it freaks me out. He's an alien. He is an alien. He is an alien, but he is an uncanny valley alien, and it ain't happening. He, he's, What's wrong with that? He's an alien nope. made up to be a god. So yeah, he's supposed, supposed to be. To be he's supposed to be like a. Yeah, he's supposed to be like perfect. 
He can be cre- he can creep me out, and that's fine. Like that is okay. That can happen in this I'm, world. I'm on your so. side here, Kelsey. I I, yeah. I understand what you mean. Dude, Thank I, you. Me and Brandon are totally on team. Let's fuck Henry Cavill. My like, ease. Yeah, yeah. Well, he, <laughs> no, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, Chris, slow down. No, no, no. Uh, Henry Henry Cavill, Master Chief, right here, dude. Master Chief, right here, dude. <laughs> dude, what if Henry Cavill gets pl- <laughs> gas it to play Master Chief? They already have somebody to play Master Chief in the show. Yeah, but we're talking about. But a if you talking if you talking movie, bro, best of both worlds. I think I think I think best I'd rather go for Faustus if I had to pick one of the Witcher guys. You know, which one's Faustus? He's yeah, the one dude. that slept with his sister and had a creepy monster baby. Ah, uh, yeah, no. That must have been I, one of those episodes that I fell asleep. <laughs> it was like oh, the whole wait, episode. Yeah. That was a good episode. That was a good episode. I actually think episode. Faustus is a fascinating character. That's one of those you... little moments that shine for me. If you go back and rewatch it, and I didn't catch this until one of my rewatches, in the episode where Yennefer comes out yeah, in her new body, kid. he's a little kid in that room. Yeah, and he's yeah. like obsessed with his sister even then, yeah. Yeah. No, I, I liked that because to me that was a very witchery thing where like Faustus is a guy who's a terrible person, but he's a decent ruler. Yeah. Like, He's not a bad ruler. He's just personally garbage. Mm-hmm. Um, so I was like, that's kind of a fascinating character. I, th- I thought he was interesting, and that was like a more nuanced part of the show. Hmm. And then the Nilf Guardians just started burning everything, and I was like, well, okay, now I'm a little bit past this. But that's the thing that sucked the most is as I was watching it, I was kind of upset because the Nilf Guardians were just like fucking falling the fuck out and just destroying everything, and the Northern Realms were just getting fucking shit on. And that's my deck in Gwent as the Northern Realms. And I was like, well, this is bullshit. And I was like, y'all can't represent. You were what Gwent defended? Oh, my God. I was God. Gwent defended. That is 100% facts. I was, I was oh. surprised Gwent wasn't, like, mentioned at all. Bro! No. Yes! No, they, did, yes! they did say it. Somebody when? said it at one when? point. No. They said the words. I don't. I, I didn't hear didn't it. didn't hear it at all. I was I was, lis- I was listening Even for, like, little things. I was asleep, things, I, I think, woke What was his name? Uh, the, only, the only name that popped up, and I was like, yes, was, like, uh, was it Versamir? Like, oh, uh, yeah. Geralt's, like, yeah, yeah, father yeah, yeah, figure? Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the, the very, it was, like, the last episode of the episode before that. Yeah, you said Versamir? Yeah. It, it was, like, it was like yeah. Versamir. And I was like, oh, fuck, he's going to yep. be in next season. <laughs> I got really excited. But I was waiting for Gwent. I was so waiting for Gwent. I was Bro. like, please, show, show a deck of cards. Let some people play. I want to see it. I'm telling you right now, I was like, I wanted one of two things to happen. Or, I'm sorry. I wanted one thing to happen and then one that I thought should have happened whenever I watched the episode. So what I wanted to yeah. see, what I thought would have been an awesome hat off to Gwent and then like a hat off to the players who would like fuck Gwent was like Gerald to come into that <laughs> bar and sit down and see a guy playing Gwent and just sit down. The guy goes, would you like to play a hand of Gwent? And Gerald would be like, fuck no. And then just get up and walk away. That would have been perfect. I would have been okay with that. Or... Or what happened actually in the show was those fucking kids playing fucking dice. Why weren't they playing Gwent? They could have done it right there. We watched those kids play dice for like fucking five minutes. Chris, they were Chris, they were uh, peasants. I'm sorry. I don't care. Gwen? But whenever, whenever you were saying that whole he walks to a bar thing, I thought you were gonna say like you hear some guy say it's time to. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I lost my fucking shit, dude. That would have made that my favorite Netflix show, easily, easily. <laughs> he would just stood up and did that. <laughs> Slam down some quick cards. <laughs> if he just walked into every bar and was just like, "Where's Jennifer?" and then he walks into another bar and just goes, "Where's Jennifer?" And then he walks into yet another bar and goes, where's Yennefer? And that's the whole show, because that's what it feels like to play the game. Pretty much. Um, so, Pretty you know, much, that yeah. way it feels like it connects in that way. That's going to be that's gonna be season two. <laughs> now, I just wanna get, now I just want to see a smoldering look from, like, fucking Henry Cavill. Or not Henry Cavill, but uh, Geralt to start the next episode. And all of a sudden it zooms out and, it, and Geralt's just like, you've activated my trap card. <laughs> I'm waiting for the um I'm waiting for the teaser trailer to come out and all we see all we hear is like I mean this is gonna be like a fucking like a shot of like some fucking valley, mountains and shit, beautiful stuff, and all you're gonna hear is some guy whistling, toss a coin to your witcher, I'm like, Yes, yes <laughs> to start cheering. <laughs> I can't fucking wait. It was Brandon's it was Brandon's face whenever he saw the fucking uh Fallout seventy six trailer. All of a sudden they just start playing fucking uh Take Me Home Country Roads <laughs> and Brandon's just like Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know this song, but yeah! It's <laughs> Fallout! There was that game wasn't that bad, actually. Yeah, uh-huh. 
So I have a comment on Yennefer. Yeah, go ahead. Yennefer, I absolutely hate her character. And to be clear... Fucking rude. No, I hate her. And I here's oh, why I hate her. Rude. She... She changes. She she is not grounded in reality at all. So yeah. they told her, "Hey, you'll lose your ability to bear children." She's like, "This is my choice. Just do it to me." And then later, she's like, "Well, I they took my choice from me." It's like, "No, you demanded that they do this. They told you, and you decided it was worth it. It's not their fault that you didn't realize what that was going to mean." And guess what? Part of being an adult is dealing with the consequences of your choices and recognizing you have only yourself to blame. And she is so busy playing the victim constantly and like morphing every situation to have her be the victim. I'm just like, "You are not worth my time. You need to go get some serious counseling." And and, like deal with your issues because you're driving me nuts i yeah, hated it yennefer was kind of a i don't know i was i kind of liked her character sometimes and then other times i didn't like i was talking to a friend about this you know that fight that she has with like her wizard boyfriend yeah i still don't know what they were fighting about like i don't understand her complaint and i also don't understand his complaint I don't know what they were fighting about. I couldn't figure it out. But there was definitely, and it's like the sexy Yennefer change where her character just completely was different. Because, like, up until, yes. like, before she was, like, Yennefer the sexy witch, she was, like, Yennefer the piglet, right? That's what they called her. Yeah. And she, like, sucked at magic and she was really self-conscious. <laughs> and I understand that, like, part of her thing is that, like, the world has been cruel to her. So mm -hmm. now she expects nothing else and is kind of like, I don't want to say she doesn't care about other people, but she's like, the world's a horrible place and I'm not like making any pretense about that. Yeah. So she's like, I just want all the stuff I can have, you know? Which yeah, makes I want sense everything. for her character, cool. but mm -hmm. you didn't see her grow <laughs> into that. Like, Well, she wasn't, um, she wasn't confident in herself looking like that. She hated well, herself. Right. But you didn't ever, oh, like, like it would make more sense for her to then be mm -hmm. not confident once she's pretty. But instead, she just, like, goes full orgy mode. Like, what is happening with you? <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's... I'm thinking they left some stuff out on purpose to, like... Oh, that they could clearly be. had to because one of her big things at the end or in the middle of it she's talking to Geralt and she's like all I ever really wanted was to be important to someone it's like you were important to your freaking boyfriend who liked you before you were pretty and then you just went no fuck this I want power like she was your also priorities a teacher. yeah your priorities are all fucking over the place and they change as soon as you decide you want them to and then you play a new victim card like I had no yeah. tolerance for her and i'd be the fine with that her being her character like if her character is that she deflects in that way that she always like pities herself and uses that as the way to like deal sure yeah i would get it but it doesn't develop from anywhere you know what i Correct. mean like it feels yeah. random not like a foible of her character that's well developed it's just like all of a sudden she's like now this is who I am. Like, when did... Why, though? Like, I don't understand what happened yeah. here. It, I'm thinking... It, go ahead, sorry. I'm thinking either the power went to her head and she just went crazy psycho, or there's somebody manipulating her, like, with magic or something. Because it's like, oh, yeah. it's just... I noticed, I noticed that, too, that it was just, like, crazy, like, just 180, like, just the way she was. I was like, it has to be something. There's, there's like, no way she just snapped like that on her own. But it could be a possibility <laughs> that, the, that the power did that but i, I don't did know. okay so the orgy scene was probably like my favorite like just confusing scene because okay whatever it's a magic <sighs> orgy where she like gives everyone like love potions or whatever right mm -hmm. but what was weird is she was just like sitting in a chair just like bored just observing it like wearing a mask i'm like what is even the point of putting on a giant weird orgy just so you can have a set piece that people Those have to flex. walk through to talk to you. Yeah, right? That's what it Those seemed flex. like. <laughs> She's like, shoot, someone's coming to talk to me. Uh, whole town orgy right in front of me. I'm going to look totally indifferent. Just like, oh, you came by. Never mind <laughs> this. Like, what? What are you doing? 
Well, I, I do think one of the things that was consistent with her character is there are a few things that she wanted more than all eyes on her, and she enjoyed humiliating people. She enjoyed taking the powerful and bringing them down to yeah, to their yeah. lowest form. And so grabbing a town that was trying to kick her out and being like, you guys are going to fuck until you absolutely do not have any like liquids left in your body. And you're going to sleep with whoever is nearby and convenient. They may not be attractive. They may not be interested in you. In the real world, they wouldn't be. But <clears throat> you're going to do this because my power demands it of you. Like I think that is exactly her kind of thing. Yeah, I get it. It's just a weird scene. It is a weird scene, but I do love the, the oh god, the bard in that scene when he just, like, gets shoved into some random woman's boobs and he can't breathe and, like, I did think he played that very well. It was highly I, entertaining. I actually kind of liked the, I think he might be one of my favorite characters. Ditto. I liked him. <laughs> so, I something want... to add on to about the, uh, the boyfriend and the unit for fighting. You were talking about you don't understand name? why they were upset. Who cares? You don't understand why <laughs> they were fighting the first time. I don't understand what his problem was the last time. You know oh, she rare, I have the answers to You know how this. rare? You know how rare it is to be with the ugly duckling and then her turn out to be the hottest chick in school years later? And she wanted you, bro. And you're all like, no! I liked you when you were fucking hideous! Get out of my face! Like, I mean, fuck that's that like... nonsense, dude. Like, I liked you when you looked like, what's that ugly chick that I fucking hate? Is it Kristen Dunst? I liked you when you looked like this garbage. <laughs> now you look like evil Longoria. Let's fucking go. Ease. Done. Wasn't, uh, Ease. wasn't that wizard dude working against her for, like, that other guy, though? Yeah, kind so of. the reason the reason they had the first fight was because he passed over information that he learned about her that she th kind of somewhat thought she was passing over in confidence, mm. and then she lost power as a result. She was given a lesser post because she had uh, quarter elf blood, therefore she couldn't get into the court she wanted to get into because that court was biased against elves, and so she could never be powerful there. So they gave her basically a tool, like it was a he, it was somebody who had no power and was never going to respect her and she was never going to gain any power being in his court all she was going to gain is the opportunity to be felt up by a creep and she didn't want that so she was really pissed that his behavior led to her losing power and he was really pissed because he was actively trying to legitimately be with her and she was just choosing everything over him and then blaming him and being a victim and he didn't want it and when they saw each other years later, he they through their conversation, he figured out, yeah, like the victim get card that you're constantly playing, you're still constantly playing, and I don't want to be with you. Well, That's what it was. Because I didn't. Because every when I was watching that show, I was like, all right, cool, Geralt, and the Bard, awesome, Siri, hell yeah, other characters, yeah, Yennefer and that dude, I was like boring i'm not paying attention to this garbage that's why i just did like you, did you guys realize she like summoned a weird crowd to watch them have sex like with magic yeah yeah because she wants to be looked at and she wants people to think she's beautiful she wants to be the center of attention and she did it then i didn't realize that's what was happening like i just didn't i was like why is there okay i just kind of like let it go and then i asked someone they're like she summoned that with magic i'm like Okay, I get one person being into that, but is he into that too? Because that's kind of specific. No, he specifically asked her, like, can you make these go away? And she's like, no, I'm just going to ride you harder. Like, that was, that, it happened in that scene. Yeah, oh. he, couldn't, it, he couldn't, he couldn't commit, dude. He I lost was, graph. God, mm. I was cringing so hard when that scene happened. I could have become one with my couch. That was huh, a lot huh. for me. Well, I just he don't. Couldn't, he couldn't commit. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I just, like, in, in universe, right, she's supposed to be, like, the love of Geralt's life. And I'm like... Why, though? But why, th though? Because he, uh, because <laughs> whatever the genie, uh, when a genie, uh, fucking, um, thing, he wished it. it so that's why it's happening. It, it was what did he actually yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah it was. Yeah, Chris, a, it yeah. was. He wished. He made the wish. That was not what it was called. Yes, it, it was. It was, well, it might have been called a djinn or something, but that's just... Well, it's the Whatever same the, thing. You know, know what I mean, motherfucker. <laughs> it is literally the same thing. They even said in the show, it's the same thing. Moving um, on. 
But he made the wish. That's why they're. Uh, what did he actually buddies. wish? Did he, he actually for wish? her love? He wished for her. He wished. He wished for. I, I don't know what the words were exactly. But, I mean, I don't think anybody knows. But I think it was along the lines that he can't lose her or she can't lose him and some love mix because she kind of got mad about that with the dragon episode. Oh shit! Yeah. You're right. There was yep. a fight about that. Yep. Yeah. Where she's episode. like, "Oh, it's because of that genie's witch." That that also kind of sucks though as like a plot beat. Is that what this is what I'm talking about? Like if that's the case, that should be very clear and it's not at all. No, no, no. I like the I like the way they're doing this. I like the I like Uh-uh. I like I having that, way, I, I like the way you have was to pretty clear. The dragon guy yeah, I thought, literally I thought so, and said I thought it so too. out loud. And then Yennefer looked at fucking Geralt and she's all like, you did, or because he goes, his exact words were, you wish for something in order to not lose her, but that wish will be why you lose her. And then that's when she was like, the djinn? And he goes, I did it to save you. And she goes, yeah, well, you have lost me now or some shit. And then that's when she walks away. Like, all pissed yeah. <clears throat> Because she doesn't want to be manipulated by magic. While she enjoys manipulating others, she doesn't want to be manipulated. So the idea that whatever they have isn't real and is just magic driving her she's not going to submit to that because it's humiliating and it isn't real so i i get her logic there i just wish i knew like i wish at some point they'd tell us what he actually said to see if there's some way like from a story perspective it could ever like sure they will. make more i'm sense waiting i'm waiting for sure it's gonna be like the last season it's gonna be like last the last season, season. if i what did you say Geralt, <laughs> with that gin and it's like hey, i said you'll hear me he gets cheer. he gets he gets really close to her ear and it's like Fuck! Credits roll. Fucking uh, season ends. <laughs> Everybody cancels their Netflix subscriptions. <laughs> or it'd be oh like gosh. a plot twist where he like gets real close. He's like, "I said I'd be the one to take her," and then he just fucking stabs her. Fucking Ooh. Ooh, that'd be that. That'd be cool. Ooh. I'm waiting for them to throw in the wild hunt. I heard that. I heard that get thrown around money. a bit. Trademark. <laughs> this is a vocal agreement. It's a vocal agreement. Fuck you, Netflix. You and literally no one else. Oh, okay. So no, you. It, it's still unclear what he said. It's he unclear just what he said, but it's 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 awesome. I'm pretty. Bro, I'm pretty sure. It's can you the not of... read lips, Cody? Fuck. Well, there's. <laughs> I'm reading right now. There's two theories. It's either he wished uh, to die alongside Yennefer, and the genie couldn't kill his master, so he had to leave, but still links him to Yennefer. Or he wished to have a child with Yennefer, which at the moment is impossible, so the genie had to leave. That's two theories. None of them are necessarily true, though. Interesting. But he specifically feels like he sh uh, Yennefer should not be a parent, which I am 100% on his side on that one. And he also feels like he, as a witcher, <laughs> should not be a parent. So if he wished that they would have a child together, that seems insane, unless that's the whole reason behind her suddenly desiring to have a kid, which would make a little bit of sense. I think but that exactly happened, happened before. I think, I think, not, I think, I think, I think oh, you're exactly right. Yeah, no, she happened. had a desire before. All right, then no. The yin came out, and he looked at... Geralt and Geralt looked at the yin and was like, "I'm trying to hit." You know what I mean, like, I'm trying. To hit. <laughs> and the was like, Are Nine. you calling it a yin? I said yin. I said yin the first time. I said yin the first time. That's how much I said yin. Multiple it, times. It was Jin and Geralt, and I was trying to switch, and I was just like, "Fuck it." It's just it is what it is. I almost called him Geralt, and I almost called him Geralt. It, it was it was happening. Right? It was happening. But either way, it doesn't matter. The the important G word here. Is Gwent. That's the only important one. Oh, the God. rest doesn't matter. But anyways, <laughs> it's like I'm trying to hit. Know what I mean? And then the the Gin was just like, all right, you did it. Never mind. Gin, Gin <laughs> doesn't matter. Gin, Gin, Yin, Finn, Swing. Uh, all right. I'm, the, the, I'm the thinking. Sweeney uh, was like, all right, dude, I'm out. It doesn't matter. It's all good. <laughs> I'm thinking in season two, Geralt's gonna end up like. Bonding with Siri, and then he's not gonna want a kid anymore, and then that's gonna piss off. He's gonna Yennefer bond with Siri. He's gonna be like, you know what? I have one of these little fucks. I don't need any more. All right, fuck yeah, you. One is enough. Fuck you. <laughs> so I spent the entire season not caring about Siri at all. Didn't, didn't care about her in the slightest. Zero oh, shits given. Before we I did. Before, before we move forward in the Siri thing, that's what I wanted yeah. to fucking say, because y'all y'all were talking about it earlier, and like I didn't I, I didn't get a chance to jump in on that. So the whole time flipping shit. 
that's where it caught me off guard because I didn't know they were flipping timelines either. The part where it ta- mm-hmm. caught me off guard was the first time you see Geralt in the court and you see the queen. And then so, the, 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 the and I'm literally looking at him like, didn't they die? Because <laughs> they look very familiar. Yeah. Didn't they die? <laughs> and That's I was the exact thought like, that Brandon had. Yeah, I'm like, yeah. didn't they die? Like, what the fuck? And all of a sudden, I was like, ah. But Chris, you don't understand time. No, oh, yeah, time. for sure. <laughs> time. But then, like, they started showing the daughter, and I was like, she does. She, I was like, she looks like Siri, but she does look look like Siri. I was like, if this is the same girl, they did a terrible makeup job. Terrible <laughs> makeup job. And then it was like the daughter, and then I was like, oh, this is starting to make a little bit more sense now. I get it. Okay, okay. I was like, all right. I'm confused by that conflict too, which someone explained it to me, but it's a stupid explanation. Which is okay. So the raccoon guy. No, no, the hedgehog guy. Yeah. Um, saved the king's life and then claimed the right of surprise, mm-hmm. yes. which means yeah. he can come back and at some point be like, you have to give me something you didn't know you had, right? Yes. So then um, Geralt, when he, he saves the hedgehog's life, and then the hedgehog is like, but I must give you something. And he's just like, uh, no, you don't have to. I don't want anything. And he's like, no, come on. So then Geralt's like, okay. I'll take the ride of surprise. Eventually I'll come back and ask for something. And then immediately finds out that what's her name is pregnant. So the, the implication there is he could just like steal their baby. No, he is he... given their baby. Yeah. It's her. No, 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 it's no, no, now. no, it's not his. He could come back and take it if he wants. It's not his baby. Still. He could claim anything for the right of surprise. No, you can't. It's, yes, you can. It's the, That's the right of surprise. It's not a baby. The way the show is doing it is it's the first thing that you didn't know that you had that you receive after the right of surprise has been enacted. And so the first thing that he didn't realize he had was she was pregnant. That's why he has a child surprise. Otherwise, yeah. nobody would ever be giving up their firstborns for this. Like, No, because no I one would. Was. Fuck that, dude. I ain't got to pay for all that shit. Hell yeah. You fucking brain it. Right of surprise right now. Call it. Call it. Call it. Do not right of surprise his future kid. Like, creepy. It, creepy you're don't not, do it. You're Call just it. right of surprising the burrito that he doesn't know he's going to get tomorrow. That's Brandon. true. Let's do it. Brandon. Let's do it. <laughs> and you're also it. not going to get, get some, it because he's going to eat it. get some Koopa Juniors, dude. Let's do it. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, oh this is creepy. Brandon's going to have, like, eight kids and only one more going to be his. The other side of the <laughs> the thing that confuses me though about this is he clearly doesn't want the baby and the queen clearly doesn't want to give him the baby so why the subterfuge he doesn't want the baby because destiny has bound them together it's not a i will pick something at the time that i come and claim no, it it I, is i know like clearly but okay so i get he's supposed to take care of the baby because of destiny which is already a weak answer but I agree with you. Why is the queen doing all this subterfuge to keep the baby she doesn't want to give Geralt away from Geralt who doesn't want the baby? Well, she does the work to keep him away when he is saying, hey, enemies are on your doorstep. Give her to me and I'll keep her safe because she doesn't trust that she, like Geralt will ever bring her back once she has her. I don't know. It just feels confused because then like two seconds later, she's like, can you give Geralt the baby now? Now that they're literally at the gates, like, well, okay, fine. Well, I guess. she confidently. Do you remember when um, they were at the, the? I think it was the very first dinner where we see it. May even be the first episode where they're talking about the fact that war could be happening, and she was very confident. Like, I, I know it could happen, but I've got allies. They're mm-hmm. on their way. It's going to be fine. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I'm confident we can do this. And then it turns out, like, no, they're not on their way. They're already here, and so all everything that you were relying on to help you is not going to make it in time. And that's the like the panic moment. That's why she didn't send him away with her or her away with him. Excuse me, because she was confident it wouldn't be an issue, and then it was an issue, and there was only one answer at that point because she it couldn't just, do anything. She was dying. It, it felt convoluted. her character was like that too. Like she was like she seemed like the one to be like she would be against it all the way until like it fucking happens, and then she's like, yeah. oh, like just like whenever whenever the the fucking porcupine, whatever the fuck he was, guy was trying to marry the fucking daughter. And she was like, no, no, no. And then I think that whatever bullshit boogaloo happened. And then she was like, okay, it's happening. 
Well, she tr- she said, okay, I'll accept this, and then tried to kill him. Like, she said okay more than once, but it took her daughter, like, using a bunch of powers nobody knew she had for her to finally be like, all right, if I stand, like, in the way of this, I'm actually going to die, so I guess I'll be on board. Like, she, she fights until her back is against the wall. Long. Right? That's what yeah. I'm saying. That there's just like, a lot of stuff. so long. That, like, it makes sense once you get your arms around it, mm-hmm. but it also feels like there was a straight shot there that they that didn't, we didn't take, take. Yeah. You know? Totally agree. They need to fill that episode out. She yeah. could have literally that, just that. screamed once and knocked everybody back, and that would have been enough. Or even like I don't think them, she. I don't think she knew she had up. that power though. No shit, Sherlock. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying she screamed, knocked everybody back, and then did this whole goddamn cyclone bullshit and flew up into the air for the next fucking twenty minutes, and then flew the hedgehog in the air for the next fucking ten minutes. I was gonna start calling him fucking <laughs> Sonic. Flew Sonic in the air for the next fucking ten minutes, yeah. and then they both came back down. <laughs> like that took way too long. It could have just been like a, ah, and then knocked everybody back, and then maybe even the grandmother get up and try to run again. Her like ah and then knock the grandmother back again, and then be done. Ease. Well, you know, I'm going to say this, Chris. Didn't, didn't, I agree didn't, with you that it went didn't too Geralt far. did stop him? Yeah, he, like, drank a potion and then yeah. slapped at her a little bit to, you know, I guess knock her out of it. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that was all about either. <laughs> he just slapped her a little bit, you know? Yeah. He, did, he did something with his back and... Go magic. Ahead. Go ahead. He, he did something with his powers. I don't know. That's what I saw, at least. Oh, did he do his like little force push thing that you can? He do? did. He did one of his powers. Yeah. I think he did the force push or the like the mind thing to like stop her. But I, I kind of wish they had done more of those because he has like a bunch of them. Mm-hmm. And I like really... that. I like that they kept them kind of like. Uh, I like that they left them out like that. I like that they just kind of they just threw them in a little bit because like I mean if they did it too much he'd yeah. be like a fucking he'd be like a Jedi almost if he kept like force pushing and bullshit all yeah, the time yeah I was fine with him not doing it all the time I just wish it was more diverse you know like cause he can like shoot fire a little bit or like do a little bit of mind control it is all yeah. kind of low key magic like it's not like he can breathe fire like Yennefer does mm-hmm. Yeah. someone asked me like they're like isn't there like an exchange that has to happen with magic like, where you have to absorb power from somewhere to then use it, you know? Because mm-hmm. that's the thing with, like, the flower and the rock, right? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, what she did was she killed half the Nilfgaardian army to burn up the other half of the army. <laughs> and Which, she absorbed the flames from the stuff that she cared about that was on fire and expelled them at the <laughs> the Nilfgaardian army. Oh. All I gotta that's... say is, it's like, man, dude, imagine if, like, Imagine how sore your threat would be after that. God damn. You know she didn't breathe fire, right? That's what I'm saying. Imagine 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 how sore your threat would be though. It came out of her mouth, didn't it? No. You sure? <laughs> yeah. That shit looked like I, it came I thought, out of her I thought mouth. it came out of her hands. Her hands <laughs> were split all the way the across. Show? Dude, I told no, you I woke didn't. up during that part. So I was still half asleep. I could have sworn she was coming out. Well, the guy that is a dragon, imagine how sore your mouth would be, dude. He's a dragon! He's supposed to breathe fire! Yeah, he's a dragon. I'm pretty sure he's fine. <laughs> is he a dragon, though? Or would he yeah, technically... Yeah, yeah, which is also confusing. Or would he technically be a druid? No, he's a dragon. There's... I don't know, he's, His normal he's form is scaly. His weird form is being a human. I think, I think, I think, I think he's a druid. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can be wrong. It's okay. I think he's a druid, and Yennefer also blew fire out of her mouth. That's fine. Yeah, I'm looking I'm at right screenshots right. of Yennefer <laughs> shooting fire. It's it's definitely her hands. That's On top of that, her mouth is literally closed. I think she was screaming. <laughs> so, the entire no, she day. screamed for at least part of that. Yeah, yeah she did. Fuck you, Cody. <laughs> <laughs> No, us supporting you on one very small point does not mean you're crazy. I take the crazy. fucking win. That's a dub in my book. Oh, you know what I will say I did appreciate, though? And this is just from thumbing through, like, images of the show. I did think it was funny that they had to have Geralt in a bathtub at some point. That made me chuckle. It felt appropriate for the show, you know? Well, it felt yeah. appropriate for the fucking Witcher 3 game. That's literally the opening cinematic. Is you see right? Geralt's yeah. ass as she's getting out of the tub, and then you see Geralt's ass as he's getting out of the tub. Yeah. Yep. Like, oh, look. It's just we don't get to see Henry Cavill's, though. Oh, damn it. Do you That's not? Bad, yeah. Oh, you're season right. two. No. Season season two. Season two. <laughs> 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 
Never want to see a is man's ass more. Apparently. Confirmed. Get it. Get it. I'm surprised there's no petition right now. <laughs> <laughs> there probably is. Oh, That's God. a little bit mean to him, actually, you know, that there's not a butt petition. Like, oh, man, I guess no one cares about my butt. Oh, true. Did you see all the working out I'll that I had to cares. do to get ready for this part? All the dehydrating he had to do? Right? I at least have to show my butt once. Like, no, we don't actually care. Like, why did you just glue prosthetics onto me then? What the heck? So the fight, the fight <laughs> scene that happened in the show, and the reason why I say the fight scene is because it's like the only good fight scene, in my opinion, that happened in the show. And I think we all know what we're talking about here. Which I is... don't actually. There's like no. thirty what, fights. The, the first yeah, one. Which one the, did you the, think the, was worth it? The the one that was in the town where he fucking cut that dude's fucking head completely off. That shit was. That dope. was cool. Yeah. Yeah. That was the, the very first best. fight. Yeah. Was, that yeah. was the dumbest fight. That. Okay. That was the best one. What are you talking about? The, the first fight. episode made no sense. I don't. He's like, and doesn't have to make I'm sense. And the fight and then was I'm gonna still kill sick. half the town. Like, shouldn't you be running sick. away? I don't know. The he's a fucking witcher, sick. dude. The fight he's the was fucking still the, sick. the the, the what they call him. What the... you're supposed to do is run away. You're like, you're not supposed right to now. fight people. You're telling me right now, someone's all like, "The Witcher is coming to Netflix," right? And then that was the teaser trailer that showed you no context, just that fucking fight. You would be like, "Wow, that was some pretty fucking sick fighting." But he's not supposed action. to fight people. He's a you witcher. You don't know that if you're watching a trailer. I just told you that. There's no context. There's no context. Well, I Cody, just what, Cody, he's a Cody, Cody, he, he was, he was, was fine, defending himself, to be awesome. honest. Yeah, he was. He was defending himself. That was a Because like, he, he, go, he, goes, he, goes he goes there to fucking talk to that uh, girl, and then fucking homeboy shoots at him. <laughs> I would start okay, no, chopping him down, boy. too. Does he get shot in that? Is that how that fight starts? Yes. 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 The knee and just no, he he hits the arrow away, but yes, they shot at him first, and then he fucking. Oh. Well, he actually oh, no, starts by scared. saying, "I don't want to fight you," and yeah. then they decide to fight him anyway. And he's like, "All right, if we're gonna do this, I'm, I'm taking you, you out." Yeah. Yeah. And then that stupid wizard came out. And was like, "Oh, the butcher! The butcher! Fucking abandon him! But fucking oh uh, God, what is it? Ban him or some shit?" Blavikin. That was Blavikin. Oh. Oh my God, no. Cody. <laughs> I was like, what? why does everyone call him the Butcher of Blaviken? And why oh, does he look so ashamed every time? That, that's yes. Be, that was Blaviken. Yeah. Yeah, oh my yeah, God. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I get it now. Welcome Cody, to Cody, you may folks. need to rewatch this a little bit. Welcome that's to what I'm saying. Folks, where magic happens. Like, I am not a stupid person. I, it not. should not be this hard <laughs> to figure out that whole episode. I'm still baffled at what happened they in even, that episode. They even told him right after that fight, leave Blaviken. Jeff, I wasn't paying attention at that point. My eyes had glazed over. <laughs> just like, two seconds ago, he had sex with a girl, and then he cut her head off. Like, next scene. Because she's like, I'm not leaving. And I'm just like, well, I'm kind of on your side of this one, honestly. I don't know. <laughs> Which I get that it's supposed to be morally ambiguous, but I'm like, this is why I think you're not supposed to fight people when you're a witcher. Is because of this moral ambiguity that comes from killing people and not monsters. <laughs> but then the you need to rewatch the show, Cody. See now, I don't. A mm. Am I wrong? But in the game, you have two swords, right? Yeah, you have a yeah. steel and an iron. You have yeah. steel and silver. Why didn't they have that in the fucking show? They did. But did you watch the show? No. Yeah, oh, there, there were. Didn't watch did the he? show. There yeah, were. The there were points. Time. There were points where he had two swords, and there was there were points where he had one. It okay. was I, I was I, I noticed that too. Well then maybe well, that he maybe. carried with him. Maybe, just maybe. I was awake during the parts where he only had one sword knife, <laughs> and I was asleep during the parts where he had two, because I don't remember a single time where he ever had two swords besides when he stole someone else's while he was fighting them. He would wear two swords if he knew he was gonna fight two things. But if he like mm -hmm. knew he was going to fight a monster, he would just have his sword. So um, have you guys seen the really adorable memes while we're talking about the swords real fast where it shows like Geralt's face and it's like yes. Geralt and it's a little angry thing and then it's like <laughs> Geralt's sword and he's got yeah, that big old smiley, smiley face, face just because yeah. the sword yeah. looks that way I love it um, but anyways talking about memes is the reason why I brought the whole fight scene in the first place did you guys see where like they fucking took that fight scene and remade it with fucking light papers no, no. I seen that. it's like all over that sounds, Facebook that sounds cool out. yeah they literally redid the entire scene with lightsabers it's actually pretty sweet so, like, literally, they shoot, like, the fucking arrow, and then the fucking Geralt goes to hit it away into the lightsaber instead of a sword. It's like, like you know, <laughs> sweet, Neat. Yeah, it's lightsabers, like, all over the fucking place. Oh, man, that's fucking funny. But 
I guess we'll go ahead and wrap this up with a vote. We'll go ahead and give it our numbers here. We'll go ahead and do a one out of five. Starting off, we'll go ahead and start off with Brandon since this is his first review show back. Brandon, Witcher, season one. You play a little bit of the game. You know a little bit of the story. You've watched five. season one. Five? Five, yes. All right, well, joke's on him. Five like, is the worst. That's... One is the best. So. Yeah. <laughs> Liar. Liar. <laughs> Like no 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 that, it was really good like I was like I was like more excited to watch that than like uh the Mandalorian like the Mandalorian was good but I was like I want to fucking finish The Witcher like this that show was fucking amazing. Fair enough, fair enough. I mean, if you like it, you like we it. need to have a review show about the Mandalorian now because we have very different opinions on these two shows. <laughs> Did you hate it? Oh, I loved the Mandalorian. No, uh, I loved it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That in was the words, best Western Samurai five. I've seen in a while. Cody's about to vote it either a one or a two. No, I'm not giving it a one or a two. What are you Cody. giving it? <laughs> I guess Cody might as well. Nah. We know uh, one or two I, I would say like a three, 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 three point five. You know what I mean? It was average. It was okay. It wasn't terrible. It was fun. I had a good time. The fight scenes were fun. Um, given what you said, like yeah, probably the best fight scene was when he was butchering Blaviken. I wish that some of the monster fight scenes had been a little bit better, and I wish that they had focused their story more. But it's still fun. It's a good time. You know, it's a fun adventure. Fair enough. Kelsey? I'm going to say a four only because I think their storytelling can improve, but the rest of it was exceptional. And even with a confusing storyline and, and challenging decisions that they made from that perspective, they still told a story that I absolutely loved, rewatched a bunch of times and skipped workouts to go home and watch because I wanted to catch up on it. And I don't do that. So I minimum four it was excellent. I'm going to go 3.5. And the reason why it doesn't get a four from me. Oh, Gwent. Well, that's the reason why it doesn't get a five. <laughs> they got a solid point off because of fucking Gwent. But they got a half a point <laughs> off. <laughs> they got a half a point off because he killed that little deer at the very beginning. I was like, no. He needs food. Yeah, but he saved you. And I was like, yeah, deer. And then he came back. He's like, what's well, not your No. Day. He, he didn't save him. He like, saved himself. He's like, and then he turned around and was like, oh, it's not your day. Yeah, and, and then they got all black, and I was like, maybe. Miserable. I knew he was going to kill him. I knew it was going to happen, but I was like, maybe. And then you hear the sword go through him, and I was like, oh. What's wrong with that? That deer wasn't going to make it anyway. He that, at least yeah, made it he, quick. He saved the deer's my, life. That deer was my friend. He was my favorite character. You pack bonded with a deer him. in 15 seconds? Yes, I did. I was oh so my excited God. about watching The Witcher that I, was, I grabbed on to the first character I saw, and it just happened to be the deer. I you forgot made that. a bad choice. Him. Fully forgot that happened at all. <laughs> now, I remember. I thought I, I thought it started with him killing that monster. Yeah, it, it did. Yeah, but it, it starts, starts with, with the, the deer, deer grazing. It's the first scene you see is the deer grazing. And then the I don't. Deer. I don't remember that. I was like, I, was, I must have been like deer, or whatever. I want to see Geralt. <laughs> yeah, and then like the piece of the moment is destroyed as Geralt and the monster come out of the the water. <laughs> yeah. Chris. Oh, Chris, so, so no. thinking about that. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. That scene there was that supposed to be the monster he killed right before he went up to that place where the bard was and he was covered in shit. That was the monster he killed right before he went to Blaviken. Because when he yeah. went to Blaviken, he's like, I have a Glorp Oh, yeah, 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 true, true, And they're true, like, true. we don't buy Glorp Glops. And that's where I got confused. Oh, yeah, I'm true. like, so did you just go out in the woods and start killing stuff? Hoping when you came to town, someone would just give you money for murdo ho murder hoboing around? Like, you didn't go and get the, like, actually it. <laughs> job first and then go kill the monster? <laughs> <laughs> I kill this. You buy it I now. mean. You know, he's a good monster hunter. He just needs better business practice. He needs, like, a Clearly. business manager. Yeah. Not a bard, but, you know, the bard was kind of the best part. The bard was amazing. That's fair. That's fair. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. So if you enjoyed the show, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit us up in the comment section below. Turn us on the notifications. Yes. Do that. Because that's how you know when this kind of show comes out. Also, if you have any thoughts on the wish yourself, throw them down there and we'll read them. Maybe we won't. Who knows? I'll delete them. Doesn't matter. We'll read we them. Know. We'll read them. <laughs> if, Lonely if, Kelsey, will all of us read them? 
if two you, of us will read them. If you miss Gwent, or if you wanted Gwent in there, let me know. Hashtag Team Gwent. You can throw that down there too. That's completely fine. Keep your Gwent stuff <laughs> to yourself. Let us know hashtag your official team rating. <laughs> let us What's... know your official team rating. If we can get enough hashtag Team Gwent going and we get that shit trending on Twitter, they will have to put it in season two. Chris will buy Chris will buy 50 Cody, packs Cody, of Gwent, Gwent cards and sign them for fans. Cody, Gwent I will do that. Gwent, <laughs> Cody, Gwent is a standalone game now. So you can yeah. download just Gwent and play it. I, I understand it is. What I'm asking is if it's, it's free. good enough to no. be yes. a standalone yes. game. No, it is, it is. I, remember, I remember playing it on The Witcher and it was actually pretty fun. Yes, it is a great fucking game. It's a Two lot of fun. Two versus one here, Kelsey. Kelsey just, just sucks at No, I, I am just angry just after sucks. hearing this much about Gwent. So when I go and play the sucks. game, I'll see what happens. It's amazing. You can get Who it on knows? your phone. I can be a convert. You can get it on your computer or you can get it on any console. It's on everything. It's Gwent and it's free. Completely free. It's amazing. It's so good. But anyways, also have our social links down there, Twitters, and our Twitches as well. Maybe I can do like a Gwent stream or something. Who fucking knows? We'll see. Oh, God. That sounds so boring. <laughs> but at the end of all this, I'll see you guys have a great rest of your week, and we will see you next time.